All right, let's talk about Huang, better known as Mimi. But the first thing that I want to mention is that this was tested on the test server, which has a lot of input lag, and we use average player stats, so you may get better results than we did. But I also want to give a special thanks to Kawasa, who does Raid, FC, and Void of his 6 carries as long as you're on the North American region. And Kazer, my Claudia Matrixy expert. These two are essential when it comes to testing out these characters. And Ridley, greatest discord moderator, and Bacardi, who will keep you on track when it comes to Tower of Fantasy news. So let's talk about her mechanics, and her main one is her normal attack, Thunderburst, which can be activated by just holding down the attack button. This ability grants hyperbody, can be used long range, and it grants you a shield. And while you're in Fortitude Resonance, it can constantly taunt targets and grant your teammates shields. And every three normal attacks, you get King Long's Mike, stacking up to eight times. And if you're in Fortitude Resonance, it reduces the damage you take. Next, we have her dodge, to where every time you dodge, you summon a lightning bolt. And if you hit a normal attack, you will teleport to where the lightning bolt is, activate an AoE field, and teleport right back to the spot where you started. And if you continue to hold down the attack button, you will activate Thunderburst and gain a stack of King Long's Might. This is especially helpful with teams with Zeke to help keep Grievous and Snake Bite apply. Next, we have her skill, Azure Moon, which grants Hyper Body, does massive damage, and AoE. You can also store up to two skill uses. It continuously uses stacks of King Long's Might to do more damage, and this can do even more damage if you're using three bolt weapons. Finally, we have our Discharge, Soaring Dragon, which does massive damage but has a long animation, so it's best not to use it. But it does come with a very good passive. If Fantasia is triggered while you're on Mimi, are you discharged with her using the Fantasia, you will do massive damage to all nearby targets. So let's talk about her playstyle. Mimi is a weapon that functions primarily as a hyper carry. You generally want to focus on buffing her as much as possible, which greatly increases the damage of her skill and hold attack. The one exception to this rule is the triple vote comp, which focuses on quick swaps to make the most out of Mimi's, Rebellious, and Fenrir's damage, bringing us to her ascensions, which mostly provide a big boost in DPS and quality of life. Her first ascension provides a big damage buff for her main normal attack, Thunderburst, and helps you heal summons, which is great for Rebellia. On top of that, gaining stacks of King Long's Might much easier. Her third ascension is her strongest and most recommended ascension. It greatly increases her DPS, makes rotations much smoother by lowering all the Volt Weapon skill cooldowns, and it increases Volt damage. Her fifth ascension is a quality of life that prevents one death. But when Fortitude Resonance is active, Mimi's Discharge will taunt all enemies. And in team play, she can create a power grid which can block enemy projectiles and movement. But in the test server, this currently was not working, so we're just going to have to see how strong this is in live server. And her sixth ascension is another big DPS increase, increasing both vote and final damage. Which brings us to her trait, which is very good for triple vote, increasing its damage and extending crit duration which is especially great for A6 Finrare or A5 Pro. But if you're not running a triple vote team, other traits are better. And then we have her special skill, which provides extra AoE when landing any hits with Mimi. And this damage is multiplied by 1.3 times if you have a flame, physical, or frost character on the team. So now let's get to the fun part, the DPS calculations. And the O comp consisted of Fiona, Rubilia, and Finrare. With Fiona using a 3 star 4 piece Fiona, Rubilia using a 3 star 4 piece Rubilia, and Fenrir using a 3 star 4 piece Fenrir. And in 2 minutes and 30 seconds, they were able to reach 595 million. But if you enjoy these character showcases, consider subscribing. I do showcases, weekly guides, and more in Tower of Fantasy. So let's start with the rainbow comp, and these are the average stats that we were using. Almost 12k crit, and a little over 22,000 vote attack. And this team consisted of Fiona, Zeke, and Mimi. And for the scatter techniques, for the primary skill, they use Wellspring, and for the secondary skill, they use Maelstrom. And they use the Fenrir trait. So here are the results of the Rainbow Team in 2 minutes and 30 seconds. At 0 star, you'll notice that DPS matrices are the clear winner. At 1 star, you'll notice that Fenrir matrices are starting to catch up with DPS matrices. At 3 star, you'll notice a big power jump across the board. And at 6 star, you'll notice that Max Star Mimi matrices has a huge power gap compared to the other matrices. And here's what this team could do using live stat values. And as you can see, Max Star Mimi matrices are the best, but DPS matrices are not too far behind. So now let's talk about the rotation, which is not that complicated. Ideally, you want to have two discharge bars for faster buffs. So you want to start out by jump canceling Zeke's discharge into his skill, and then you want a forward dodge attack two times. 
Mimi's. Next, you want to activate Fiona's Discharge into her skill, and then you want to switch to Mimi, where you activate Maelstrom, and then you activate her skill two times. And then you forward dodge attack while holding down the attack button, so that way you immediately go into her hold attack. And you want to keep this hold attack active until there's five seconds left of Maelstrom. Then you jump cancel Zeke's Discharge into his skill, activate Fiona's Discharge into her skill, and then you switch back to Mimi, to where you activate Maelstrom, then her skill, and then you do a forward dodge attack while holding down the attack button, so that way you'll immediately go into her hold attack. And then repeat step four and above. One thing to note is that you want to make sure that you're holding down the attack button while you're doing your forward dodge attack. This helps apply Serpent Chain and Grievous to the target. Without this, your DPS greatly suffers. Recommended relics are Kuan 2 and Overdrive, to where you want to activate Kuan after Zeke's skill, and you want to activate Overdrive after you cast one out of two Mimi skills. So for our next team, we tested out the Rebellia comp, and these are the average stats that we we're using. A little over 12k crit and close to 25,000 vote attack. And this team consisted of Fiona, Rebellia, and Mimi. And for the scatter techniques, for the primary skill they use Hydro Focus, and for the secondary skill they use Wellspring. And they use the Fiona trait. So this is what this team can do in 2 minutes and 30 seconds. So at 0 star, you'll notice that all the matrices are pretty close in DPS. At 1 star, it's the same, but there is a pretty big DPS increase. At 3 star, Fenrir matrices start to take the lead, and Teon matrices start to fall behind. And at 6 star, DPS matrices end up being the best, only being beaten out by 3 star Mimi matrices. And here's what this team could do, using live stat values. As you can see, 3 star Mimi matrices are the clear winner, but coming in second are Fenrir matrices. So now let's talk about the rotation. Ideally, you want to have two discharge bars for faster buffs. So you want to start out by activating Fiona's discharge, and then you want to activate Wellspring and cast this off a cooldown, and then activate her skill. Next, you want to activate Rebellious discharge into her skill, and then immediately do a forward dodge attack. Next, you want to cast Mimi's skill two times, and then you want to do a hold attack until you have a double discharge. Then you activate Fiona's discharge into her skill, and then you activate Rebellious discharge into her skill, and then you do two forward dodge attacks. To where you Mimi's skill, hold attack until you have a double discharge, and then you repeat step 4 and above. Recommended relics are Kuan 2 and Overdrive, to where you want to activate Kuan after Fiona's skill, and you want to activate Overdrive after you cast 1 out of 2 Mimi skills. So now let's talk about the Tian comp, and these are the average stats that we're using. Almost 12k crit and close to 25,000 vote attack. And this comp consisted of Fiona, Tian, and Mimi. And for the scatter techniques, for the primary skill they use Hydro Focus, and for the secondary skill they use Wellspring. And they use the Fiona trait. And this is what this team was able to do in 2 minutes and 30 seconds. At 0 star, you notice that all the matrices are fairly even. At 1 star, DPS matrices start to pull ahead. And at 3 star, Fenrir matrices are starting to catch up with DPS matrices. And at 6 star, Fenrir matrices are the best, only being beaten out by 3 star Mimi matrices. But the other matrices are close behind as well. And here's what this team was able to do using live stat values. 3 star Mimi matrices are the clear winner, with Mimi matrices coming in second and DPS matrices coming in third. So now let's talk about the rotation. Ideally, you want to have two discharge bars for fast or buffs, but you want to start out by activating Fiona's Discharge, and then you want to activate Wellspring and cast this off a cooldown, and then you want to activate her skill. Next, you want to jump cancel Teon's Discharge into his skill, and then you want to activate Mimi's skill two times into a hold attack until you have a double discharge. Then you want to activate Fiona's Discharge into her skill, jump cancel Teon's Discharge into his skill, and then you want to activate Mimi's skill into a hold attack until you have a double discharge, and then repeat step four and above. Recommended relics are Kuan 2 and Overdrive. You want to activate Kuan after Fiona's skill, and you want to activate Overdrive after you cast one out of two Mimi skills. Next, we have our first triple vote comp, and these are the average stats that we're using. A little over 11k crit and close to 26,000 vote attack. This team consisted of Fenrir, Rebellia, and Mimi, and they use Mimi's trait. And this is what this team was able to do in 2 minutes and 30 seconds, starting at 0 star. And as you can see, vote matrices are the clear winner. And at 1 star, this does not change. And once we get to 3 star, we get a big power jump, bringing us to 6 star with 3 star Mimi matrices beating out the previous vote matrices. And here's what this team was able to do using live stat values. As you can see, 3 star Mimi matrices are the clear winner by quite a big margin. So let's talk about the rotation, which is fairly complex, and ideally you want two discharge bars to run smoothly. So you want to start out by jump canceling Fenrir's discharge into her clone, and then you want to activate Rebellious discharge into her skill, and then you want to do one for dodge attack. Then you want to activate Mimi 
enemy skill two times, and then you want to do a hold attack until 16 seconds have passed. Next, activate Rebellious Discharge into her skill, do one for her dodge attack, activate Fenrir's Claw, do a dodge attack into her clone, then activate Mimi skill and do a hold attack until 16 seconds have passed once again. Then you want to rinse and repeat. Recommended relics are Kuan 2 and Omnium Shield. And you want to use both at the start of the battle and activate them off a of cooldown. Bringing us to our next triple vote team. And these are the average stats that we're using. A little over 11k crit and close to 25,000 vote attack. And this team consisted of Tion, Rubilia, and Mimi. And they used the Mimi trait. And here's what this team could do in 2 minutes and 30 seconds. At 0 star, all the matrices are fairly even. And this is the same once we reach 1 star. But at 3 star, we get a big power jump. At 6 star, 3 star Mimi matrices are the clear winner. And this is what this team could do using live stat values. As you can see, 3 star Mimi matrices are winning by quite a big margin. So let's talk about the rotation. Ideally, you want 2 discharge bars so that way you can buff you. Easier. But you want to start out by doing Rebellious Discharge into her skill and then do one forward dodge attack. Then you want to jump cancel Tion's Discharge into his skill. And then you want to activate Mimi's skill two times into a hold attack until you have 1.5 discharge bars. Then you want to activate Rebellious Discharge into her skill and then do one forward dodge attack. Then activate Mimi's skill into a forward dodge attack and you want to hold attack until you have 1.5 discharge bars. Then you reveal your discharge, do a skill, do one forward dodge attack, then activate Tion's skill, then you do Mimi's skill, another forward dodge attack into a hold attack until you have 1.5 discharge bars. And then you repeat step 4 and above. In the recommended relics are Kuan 2 and Omnium Shield, and you want to use both at the start of the battle and activate off cooldown. Bringing us to our next triple vote team. And these are the average stats that we are using. Almost 12k crit and over 25,000 vote attack. And this team consisted of Crow, Tion, and Mimi. And they use the Mimi trait. So let's see what this team can do in 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Matrices are fairly even. Insane for 1 star. But at 3 star, everything gets a big power jump. And at 6 star, 3 star Mimi matrices are the clear winner. With vote matrices coming in second and the rest following behind. And this is what this team can do using live stats. Values. As you can see, this is a fairly strong team, even though you're using Crow as a buffer. So now let's discuss the rotation. Ideally, you want to have two discharge bars for faster buffs. But first, you want to jump cancel Tion's discharge into his skill. And then you want to activate Crow's discharge into his skill. And then you want to activate Mimi's skill two times and then do a hold attack until Crow's crit buff is about to disappear. Then you want to jump cancel Tion's discharge into his skill. Then you want to activate Crow's discharge into his skill. And then you want to activate Mimi's skill and then do a hold attack until Crow's crit buff is about to disappear. And finally, you repeat step four and above. Recommended relics are Kuan. 2 and Overdrive Shot. You want to use Kuan 2 after Tion's skill, and you want to use Overdrive Shot after you cast one out of two Mimi skills. Bringing us to Altered, and these are the average stats that we are using. Almost 11k crit and close to 23,000 vote attack. And this team consisted of Fiona, Lin, and Mimi. And for the scatter techniques, for the primary skill they use Hydro Focus, and for the secondary skill they use Maelstrom. But if you have over 1.6 million HP, you want to use Wellspring instead of Hydro Focus. And they use the Fiona trait. So let's see what this team can do in 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Starting with 0 star, and as you see, DPS matrices are the clear winner. And this is the same for 1 star. And at 3 star, we get a big power jump. And at 6 star, you'll notice that Max Mimi matrices barely beat DPS matrices. And this is what this team could do using live stat values. And again, Max Mimi matrices and DPS matrices are fairly the same. So let's talk about the rotation. Ideally, you want 2 discharge bars for faster buffs. You want to start out by activating Fiona's discharge, and then you want to activate her skill. Then you want to jump cancel Lin's discharge, and then activate her skill 2 times. Times, and then you want to switch to Mimi, to where you're going to activate Maelstrom for skill two times, and then you're going to hold attack until six seconds left of Maelstrom. Next, you want to activate Fiona's Discharge into her skill, then you want to activate Lin's skill, and then you want to switch to Mimi. Then you want to activate Maelstrom, and then you want to activate Mimi's Discharge into her skill, and then you want to hold attack until six seconds left of Maelstrom. And then you want to repeat step four and above. Recommended relics are Kuan 2 and Overdrive. You want to activate Kuan 2 after Fiona's skill, and you want to activate Overdrive after you cast one out of two Mimi skills. Next, we have the free-to-play team, and for the first team, these are the average stats. Almost 10k crit and close to 16,000 vote attack. 
and this team consisted of Fiona, Claudia, and Mimi. With Fiona using a Zero Star 4 piece Silka, Claudia using a Zero Star 4 piece Habuela, and Mimi using a Zero Star 2 piece Shiro, Zero Star 2 piece Samir. And for the scatter techniques, for the primary skill they use Hydro Focus, and for the secondary skill they use Maelstrom. But if you're able to get over 1.6 million HP, you want to use Wellspring instead of Hydro Focus. And they use the Fiona trade. So this is what this team was able to do in 2 minutes and 30 seconds. And this is what this team was able to do using live stat values. And this is actually a pretty strong team due to Claudia's buffs. So let's quickly talk about the rotation. And ideally you want to have two discharge bars for faster buffs. But you want to start out by activating Claudia's discharge into her skill. And then you want to activate Fiona's discharge into her skill. And then you want to switch to Mimi, activate Maelstrom, and then activate Mimi's skill two times. And then do a forward dodge attack into a hold attack until there's six seconds left of Maelstrom. And then you want to rinse and repeat this. Bringing us to our next free to play team. And these are the average stats that we we're using. Almost 11k crit and over 18,000 vote attack. And this team consisted of Fiona, Crow, and Mimi. With Fiona using a Zero Star 4 piece Zilla, Crow using a Zero Star 4 piece Habuela, and Mimi using a Zero Star 2 piece Shiro, Zero Star 2 piece Samir. And for the scatter techniques, for the primary skill they use Hydro Focus, and for the secondary skill they use Maelstrom. But if you have over 1.6 million HP, you can use Wellspring instead of Hydro Focus. And they use the Fiona trait. And this is what this team could do in 2 minutes and 30 seconds. And this is what this team could do using live stat values. As you can see, this team is fairly strong due to the Crow crit buff. So let's quickly talk about the rotation. Ideally, you want to have two discharge bars for faster buffs. You want to start out by activating Fiona's discharge into her skill, and then you want to activate Crow's discharge, and then you want to activate his skill if it's available, and then you want to switch to Mimi. Then activate Maelstrom, Mimi's skill two times, do a forward dodge attack into a hold attack until six seconds left of Maelstrom, and then you want to rinse and repeat. Bringing us to our next free-to-play team, and these are the average stats that we're using. Almost 11k crit and over 18,000 vote attack. And this team consisted of Claudia, Crow, and Mimi. With Claudia using a Zero Star 4 piece Illa, Crow using a Zero Star 4 piece Habuela, and Mimi using a Zero Star 2 piece Shiro, Zero Star 2 piece Samir. And they use the Mimi trait. And this is what this team could do in 2 minutes and 30 seconds. And this is what this team could do using live stat values. As you can see, this is the weakest team due to the loss of Fiona. So let's quickly go over the rotation. Ideally, you want to have two discharge bars for faster buffs. But you want to start out by activating Claudia's discharge into her skill. And then you want to do Crow's discharge into his skill if available. And then you want to activate Mimi's skill two times, do a forward dodge attack, and do a hold attack until six seconds left of her cooldown. And then you want to rinse and repeat. Bringing us to our last free to play team, and these are the average stats that we are using. Almost 12k crit and over 18,000 vote attack. And this team consisted of Nemesis, Crow, and Mimi. And they use the Mimi trait. And this is what this team could do in two minutes and 30 seconds. And this is what this team could do using live stat values. As you can see, this is one of the strongest free to play teams because it takes advantage of Mimi's trait. So now let's quickly talk about the rotation. And ideally, you want to have two discharge bars for faster buffs. But you want to start out by activating Nemesis Discharge into her skill, and then you want to activate Crow's Discharge, and then activate a skill if available. And then you want to activate Mimi's skill two times, do a forward dodge attack into a hold attack, and then you want to do this until Crow's crit buff almost disappears. And then you rinse and repeat. Now for the disclaimer slash notice section, and the first thing that I want to mention is a testing environment, to where we do not use smart servants and relics, and there's a lot of input lag, and we use average player stats. So you may get better results than we do. For example, the OVO team was only able to pull out 595 million on the test server, whereas on the live server it was able to pull out 619 million. Also, we can't lower down the stars of the characters in the test servers, so for the free to play section, I use zero star matrices to make up for this. Number 2, Matrices. Mimi matrices are very powerful, with the 2 piece increasing final damage as well as increasing the skill damage, while the 4 piece greatly increases your elemental damage, and if you have Mimi on the team, you also get crit damage increase. But if you don't have the resources to max these out, DPS matrices or other limited matrices can catch up. Rebellion matrices are very powerful for every bow comp, by greatly increasing the vote attack while providing elemental damage. Combining these with Mimi matrices greatly increase your DPS. Finra matrices. At max stars, they're more powerful than a zero star four piece set of Mimi matrices. But once you start getting more stars for Mimi matrices, they're easily beaten. Tian matrices. At a low star, low invested Mimi, Tian is close to Finra matrices. But as your stats start to improve and you get more stars for Mimi, they easily lose the Finra matrices. DPS matrices. Really strong in the rainbow team featuring Zeke. 
only losing to Max Mimi matrices. But once you have a team with two or three vote characters, these matrices start to lose pretty badly compared to other limited vote matrices. Number three, triple vote involving Fenrir, Rebellia, and Mimi. Due to lag, complex rotation, and a bug involving how Fenrir's A6 is applied, there is a good chance this team will match or surpass the Rainbow team, but it does require high investment. And notices. Recommended relics are a 1 star Overdrive and a 3 star Kuan 2, with a 5 star Omnium Shield being a good alternative for Kuan 2. Recommended Augments. You want a mixture of normal attack, weak point, and skill damage to really bring out Mimi's DPS. For gloves, you either want normal attack, skill damage, or weak point, which is conditional. For the micro reactor, you want discharge over dodge attack, but both of these are minor buffs. And for bracers, you want skill damage or weak point, which is conditional. And for the pans, your only option is normal attack. And expect to see a Google Doc with all of my DPS calculations about a day or so after the release of this video. Mimi is a very easy character to play. Her bread and butter is being able to hold attack while moving and not missing any damage. Her A3 is essential to making teams like Triple Volt function smoothly. Mimi can also be very free to play friendly since in Crow Triple Volt teams she can take full advantage of the 100% crit buff. And as a tank weapon, Mimi is likely to be essential since she provides shields to teammates, provides easy uptime on taunting, and her A5 can provide extra utility for the team to take advantage of. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and let me know down in the comments, are you guys pulling Mimi, or are you saving for future characters? But other than that, I'll talk with you guys later.